All right, we're back. Circling Back podcast presented by Vizzy Hard Seltzer. The only hard seltzer with vitamin C and superfruit acerola. My name's Will DeFreeze. To my left, David Roth. Yeah, this is a tough one to announce, but I'll be the one to do it. So it lasted all 18 hours, but our partnership with Ernst & Young uh, is no more. Um, they did audit our game show, Randy's game show yesterday, which you can check out on Patreon. But uh, we had to, we had to call it the partnership because of um, uh, recent news. In light of that recent news, you know, you can't you can't have somebody out there who's who's actively has employees cheating on ethics exams, and it's going to save us money in the long run. And I know it's uh, kind of a stain on our our record, but it is what it is. Do they know which one was cheating on the ethics exam? Was it Ernst or was it Young? It was. Um, Unfortunately, Ernst and Young. Fuck. Wow. Guys, you, you got to play good cop, bad cop there. And uh, what makes this thing a little more, it's Mr. Ernst from Hey Dude. Really? Like, right. I totally know what this news is about. Obviously, I pay attention. But, like, for those who don't, like, maybe just explain, like, what happened real quick. Um, let me just do something other than read you a headline. Ernst and Young fined $100 million after employees cheated in exams. <laughs> Hundred million? One been slapped with a record dollars. That's a lot of scrilla. Yeah, regulators discovered that the company knew some of their people were getting a little fast and loose with the ethics. Uh, call me crazy, but like, I mean, I know nothing about anything. Like, I feel like an forward, ethics bro. exam is kind of a layup. Like, you got to cheat on that. Business ethics. ethics, right? Billy Madison, for those keeping track at home, we're reference guys. We make sick movie references. I call him EY. Yeah, dude. Fucking, I, uh, yeah. I almost interned for him. Oh, yeah? My dad's partner. Why didn't you? I ended up going to Goldman Sachs and doing something completely different. It was wealth management. Sounds like, sound like a good yeah. good gig. Yeah, I got fired. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you cheated on the ethics exam? <laughs> yeah, it turns out I never graduated college. And I, uh, <laughs> I forged my transcript. Dude, the girl... The girl that wrote into uh, Sunday Scaries for a Worst Monday thing the other day. Uh, I've never gotten more responses to somebody saying that they, grad they, they thought they graduated from college four years ago and found out that Monday morning that they had not, in fact, graduated from college. Just like, is this like how Zach found out he was like one credit short of graduating high school? Yeah, this girl didn't know she had... I think it was one credit. So she, he had to do a performance of Swan Lake with the, the ballerinas or whatever, a ballet? Was Zach in good shape? No. He was soft bod. He had Luca bod. It's facts. He also was standing next to AC Slater the entire time, who was like Look, the most ripped high schooler yeah, of all that's time. Not he's fair. different. He was juicing big time. Dude, what's what's the name? popping in those counterfeit jeans. Which okay, which who wins who wins the uh, uh the wrestling match between them? AC Slater or the kid from Oklahoma State? <laughs> Uh, you're talking about the F AJ Ferrari? No yeah, one's AJ taking, Ferrari. No one's pinning AJ Ferrari. Do you think AJ Ferrari yeah. takes out AC Slater? He eats AC Slater for lunch. Slater's got, oh God. Slater is not a prayer, man. He's not ready for that. <laughs> AJ Ferrari is just a little too electric for Slater. And too alpha. <laughs> like, AJ Ferrari never would have dated Jesse Spano in high school. Never. AJ no. Ferrari, he died. Uh, what, that nerd? He's the field all four years. You can't years. lock him down. He's like, yeah, no. dude, I, I breadcrumbed her because she was giving me uh, some test, he just, uh, he just, test help. He breadcrumbs everybody. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He yeah. does not tolerate gobble mode. He's like, yeah, I ghosted her after our AP English exam. Yeah. I actually gave her the caffeine pills. That dude's so sick. <laughs> Hey, so what happened with the young lady who didn't graduate? What, do we know anything else? I don't know. She, I asked her for an explanation, and she sent me a long explanation. And I, I think she has it. to... No, I read it. I read it. No, I, I hit her back with the, like, oh, I'm happy for you, or I'm sorry that happened. <laughs> uh, TLDR. <laughs> you can intro me whenever you're ready, man. Dylan Shivery, ladies and gentlemen. I'm certainly content, ready. But yeah, we'll intro you. You mentioned earlier, um, he pointed out that I'm wearing a button-down shirt. And that is correct. It's part of my new initiative to uh, dress shitty less often. Yeah. Um, after Bay and I had a conversation recently, and she was, we had this like, if you can change one thing about me, what would you change? And hers was, I wish you dressed shitty less often. So here I am. Does she Damn, know what that's you a, do for a living. I'm that's a biting it, answer I'm for that question. In, yeah. She acknowledges that when I wanna when I wanna put an outfit together, when I step out, like I can I can put a fit together, but like going to work and just day to day stuff. 
uh, I dress like shit, and she's, she she wants to me to change that. She's so tired of you getting body bagged by Will and I. Yeah. Okay, what do you yeah, white t-shirt guy? Ooh, yeah. Me and my yeah, white, white tee, tea. dog. What? Are you got a problem yep. with white tees? No, they're fine. I mean, just we gonna. Ask What'd you tell her? That's the opposite <laughs> of the white tee that they were rapping about. Yeah, that's gotta say. What What'd you tell her? That's uh, a trap question. Yeah, and I had to answer first, which felt a little unfair. And mine was like, my mine was not as lighthearted. I mean, it wasn't like bad. I'm not gonna say what I said. Mine was like, a no, se- I was like, I was like a serious answer, right? Oh, I would have been like, I, my answer would have been like, honestly, like, I just feel like you should stop simping for me so hard. We, Dude, who, they, who do we gotta my, do we gotta crack some intern now. skull? No, Dylan. Okay, so so we've had an issue during recording of podcasts that uh, the interns like to go get ice out of the ice machine, it which is, is a jarring loud. noise. And it, hey, and that ain't cheap. Mm-mm. And so Dylan yesterday decided to put up a sign on the refrigerator. A post-it. Yeah, he took a pink post-it note and, and wrote, uh, "No ice machine during recordings." Management. Uh, weirdly enough, uh, the post-it note sign did not withstand the test of time and was on the ground by the end of the day. And when I tried to put it back up, it, it just fell down immediately again. Cool, Adam we ripped ha- it off. We have to do something about the ice machine. Yeah. Or the, or, or we just crack some intern skulls, like I said. really obnoxious, and it distracts me every time it happens. Get some tape and just do like an X over it. Well, the thing is, like, when we're not recording, is ice is fair game. Remove the tape when we're done. That's a lot of work. Put a padlock on it. Put it in rice. There's a number of things we could do. So when are you going to start dressing well instead of shitty? You're looking at it. I'm, oh, right. Oh, you, launched, oh, you've started. Oh, okay. I've launched uh, the Dress le- Shitty Less Often campaign, and this is what you're seeing now is a result of that. It's a button-down. It's a nice gray button-down shirt. I don't know what's happened to me since moving into this office, the new office, but I have been dressing nicer Dude. since moving to the new office. I've been wearing, like, pants every day and stuff. It's weird. You're wearing denim. Yeah, you have denim, denim, denim. your work and your... Hey, place of work. Think about if she knew Dylan when he was wearing like 1998 era, like and one basketball shorts every day. Mm -hmm. Let's be honest. I still would have locked her down. Oh, please. I don't know. I still would have locked her down. That's a different dude. She still would have slid into my DMs. Dylan pulled up wearing Aeropostal. She would have slid in like, damn, are those Russell Athletic shorts? Dude, the thing is, you did have Russell Athletic shorts. And I was like, I would have been like, yeah. That's what they were. I shouldn't shouldn't slander and one. Well, I had some night. I had some night. I would never wear N1 stuff. I had some Nike ones and some some black Russell ones that you made fun of. The Russell ones were the ones that you changed into them in the Grand X office. And I remember looking over just being like, what? You got to get new shorts. You just have to. See, the thing is, when I go to the gym to put big boy weight up, weight that you would never dream of putting up, I don't care how I look. I'm there for business only. I don't dream about putting weight up. That's yeah, not That's do. not like a, some yeah, ambition do. I have deep down. I'm, I'm, not there to, I'm not there to make friends, all right? I'm there to put big boy weight up. Dave knows. He's seen me in, in full mode. I haven't seen there in like eight days, so. I go to a different one now. You oh, know. okay. Never met him. No, you know, back in the day, I was really big in the and one scene. Really? Yeah, they, I used to, me and the professor were kind of on tour together. They called me the grad assistant. Really? Damn. Yeah. By the way, the well, gym. Were you just throwing him oops the entire time? No, I was just kind of on the sideline, like, doing this. By the way, the gym downtown. Stinks. Very, the, the ratio of dudes to, to females is like four or five to one. And it's just hunk central. It is the hunkiest gym I've ever seen. So yeah, what, you're not, you, you said you're not there to make friends. You're just there to, just to watch hunks. I think it's where the college hunks train, honestly. They have their own gym. It's just a big warehouse. They just move boxes. Yeah, heavy the, boxes. The front yeah. door has a. The <laughs> front door belts. just has like a, a misting machine that does spray tan when you walk in. So you just walk in. Where do we stand on on the mist machine, the mist fan at a hot like patio bars? Love somewhere? them. Love them. Absolutely love them. Love them. Do you ever wonder if they're actually making you cooler or if they like, are? What do you mean? Because just the, the 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 dampness, the moistness, as you often say, just kind of gets on your skin and it doesn't really dry and you just kind of feel like well am i shiny what's going on um well the ones at ranch 616 are a fan as well as a mister so it's not like it just hitting you with mist There's it's like a, a fan mister yeah. it's 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 yeah. a great experience out there best of both worlds the first time i've experienced that was actually in austin texas i came down when i was a young lad for a golf camp and i remember sitting there and being like why am i down here it's over 100 degrees i don't like great, it here it's a great question and i sat at the driving range underneath the mister for most of the time at the golf camp i i just couldn't i couldn't get my my head in the game you weren't built for it yeah shouts to harvey Pennick though 
Oh, he he instructed you. Take dead aim. That's right. He had actually just passed, but it was still the Harvey Pennick Golf Academy that I went to. And I stink now. Dylan went to the Harvey Penn 15 Academy. Really? <laughs> yeah. What did you guys learn there? Um, How to swing. Yeah. <laughs> I had nothing. I was reaching for something funny, but I... Snake dead aim? Per normal, I had nothing. Hey, we got some major announcements. Yeah, that's right. July 9th, a week from this Saturday, we're going to Houston, Texas. It's meetup time. Kirby Ice House, the downtown location. It's going to be fun. Uh, be there, be square. Uh, if you're going to plan on doing this, we don't have an exact time yet, but I would aim for... Right around after dinner time. It's going to be a lituation. We're going to do an early dinner with the squad, and then we're going to roll right into the meetup. And so, uh, yeah, go there. We will be there. Houston, Texas, July 9th. Also, we have a new video out. We did a little uh, half-day Muggsy video where we took a boat out. Just got real wild with the boys. Mm -hmm. There's some screenshots of these that we might regret later in life. But pencils. Tr truly lit. And also, we're doing happy hour live tomorrow. Lunch Seltzy edition. Hey, you should enter the, the meetup in that TikTok like that TikTok you did. Oh, we'll do it. We'll do one. We'll do one for sure. What, lunch, uh, lunch what edition? Lunch Seltzy? Seltzy. Yeah. Okay. You hear about these Seltzies? Yeah. Presented by Vizzy Hard Vizzy. Seltzer. Yeah. yeah. Uh, also, Patreon. Randy's game show went live yesterday. Not going to talk about who won. But yeah, go check it out. Patreon.com slash Strickling Back Podcast. We're doing everything over there. Worst of Dad Pods game show. And as always, Thursday voicemails. They're supposed to drop on Friday, but they drop on Thursdays. 888-618-4422. Again, 888-618-4422. Before we get into the meat of this show, it's a loaded episode today. Let's hear from our friends over at Everlane. You know what? There's copy on this screen in front of me right now, but I'm just going to say something. Everything I'm wearing right now, everything I'm wearing right now is Everlane. That white tee that you slandered earlier because it wasn't swag enough for Ooh. you. Guess what, Dylan? It's did, Everlane. It's did crispy. Not age well. It's crispy. Did not age well. Yep. Hey. I'm hey. wearing some denim right now. Guess what? <clears throat> oh, they're Everlane, my hey, friend. Yeah, Notice me. Guess. Notice me. Oh, look at you. Damn. I'm out here. Daddy. I love the polos. I was wondering why you look so scrumptious I own a today. Lot of, I own a lot of <laughs> polos, not to brag. Alyssa specifically <laughs> was like, I really like that polo on you. Yeah. I've been calling them for Everlane because I ride with them. It's my favorite Foo Fighters song. I can't stop wearing their shoes. I know. So you, when you got the shoes, I was like, man, like I, I want to see these things in person. And once I saw them, I completely bricked my order. I should have gotten this. They're off white, like kind of a creamy color, and they're so dope. Give me that. They're comfortable yeah. as shit. I should have ordered that. The only got the creamy colors. Ooh, oh. wee. That's what I. Every time I put them on, that's what I say. I love Everlane. They're committed to doing the right thing from start to finish. And that means partnering with responsible factories and ensuring every piece of clothing looks and feels great for years to come. These things are great. I mean, they're just great products. They're high quality. I've been shopping with them for over 10 years now. Absolutely love everything I get from them. And I've become even a bigger fan ever since they've become on board. I, I might dip into their store at some point over the weekend and, and check out their other stuff. They IRL. Brick and mortar. Oh, yeah. Right on South Congress, baby. Right on South Congress. This, this is news to me. I will go with you. Yep. Is that fact? Let's roid. Everlane fans, let's roid. Do not know, man. Not you two. They research and audit factories and partners to find producers championing fair working conditions and reducing environmental impact. These guys are just making the world a better place. The Everlane team has direct relationships with each factory and builds strong relationships with their team. And guess what? The best thing about this stuff is that it's trend proof. Even the stuff that I bought 10 years ago, I could wear that stuff today and it would still be relevant. These are just classics. I'm not going to call them basics because they're anything but. They're classics. Yeah. Each garment's made from the finest materials like grade A cashmere, Italian leather, and certified organic cotton. Everlane strives to use the best materials with the least impact on the planet, so they prioritize sourcing raw materials from transparent, recycled, organic, and renewable resources. And they have true cost transparency because with Everlane, you get designer quality without the designer markup. If you want to do things differently from your core to your closet, shop Everlane. Go to everlane.com slash steam. And sign up for 10% off of your first order. That's 10% off your first order. You can go to everlane.com slash steam and sign up. Everlane, helping people live their best lives with the least amount of impact on the planet. Did you almost fall off through your chair there? What happened? No comment. What? Yeah. You like, it's like the bottom dropped out. Yeah, during the ad read, <laughs> I tried to sit up and my, my left hand flew off this arm of the chair and I almost just took a spill. You hitting switches over there? Dude, I, it was almost a yard sale. I almost lost my Will Mommy's badge. Yeah, shout out to the Will Mommies. Thank you, Crimson, for the very nice care package you sent. Yo, By the way, your penmanship 
Fantastic. Goated. Some she's of the best art- handwriting she's I've, an artist. I've ever seen. Well, it's, it's clear to see. Adam, can I get the thumbnail right now? What about oh. me, Adam? No, give me the thumbnail, Adam. Dylan's been getting a lot of thumbnails. I think Adam likes Dylan the most because every time Adam produces, Dylan gets the thummy. He's scared of Dylan. That's the problem. Yeah. Dylan's, we Dylan always texts. If we saw the text history between Adam and Dylan, it's like, you better give me that fucking thumbnail today. I do intimidate him quite a he's, bit. He's thumbnail chasing. Dylan, did you ever work at Medieval Times? Dinner uh, and tournament. N- my least favorite like era was medieval. I, I this everything about the uh, aesthetic of the mid- medieval times. Aesthetic. Everything it, it makes me it grosses me out. <laughs> the aesthetic. The aesthetic. Really? It, okay. Why is it because they used to like throw their poo poo and pee pee through the out the window onto the streets? It, they're just gross, man. What did they do with their they poop did, and pee back in the day? I was they wondering about that streets. like a long time ago. Like. They didn't have like landfills and stuff they didn't back have then. Sewage, Dave. You wouldn't get this, but it was like living in Flea Bottom. Dawn. Flea Bottom. It's a bloody crime scene. Uh, in the way they talk, my lord, my lord, more like my dork, right? No, but really, I don't, I don't like it. What happened with the medieval times, though? Why I, kind of, I kind of thought the medieval times were kind of sick, actually, and I'm not one for history. It's done. No. Just you, you what? You eat a turkey leg and watch a bunch of dorks out there like play dress up and you're gonna hit call each the other Black with, Knight a dork. Hit each other with foam swords. Dude, were the evil times just like way doper? If they had to call these ones the mid evil times, just mm. some. It's just like semi mid evil. My lord, me lord. What you don't want to do like the you don't want to go do the. The, the spearing. What's Joust? it called? <laughs> Joust. <The spearing. laughs> What's happening in medieval times? Are they unionizing? The knights are daggering. Really? They've, they've gotten rid of jousting, and now it's just a daggering competition. Okay, I might sign up for that. I'd, I'd be, be fine with that. that. I've yeah. never been to medieval times. Have you guys been? I have, I have. no desire. <laughs> I, <laughs> I have all there's the desire. One, there's one in like South Dallas. Is there one in Houston? We're not going. It, 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 that's not the question the, I asked. Is the, there is there medieval times in Houston? I, there has to be, and I think they just bring you like a, a whole rotisserie chicken. <laughs> It's fantastic. Dan like would a love it. of beer. Dan would love that. And all right, excuse me. Uh, go bit of ales. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> That's how we spoke. Oh yes. I will take. It's like Bud I Light. will take a, a chalice of your mead, please. No, they're uh, they're they've voted. Their workers have voted or will vote on forming the company's first union. Unionizing. Why do they need a union at medieval times? Well, because first it's a dinner and tournament. Okay. Second, it's dangerous. There's, there's a great article on the Huff Post, and uh, there's some really good lines. But apparently, like the working conditions are, are tough. They have to deal with a lot. Um, for example, clanging the heavy dinnerware can spook the horses in the arena, endangering the knights as they joust for the queen's honor. Dylan, it often falls to the queen herself, a mic'd up actor on a throne above the pit, or her chance, chancellor, Lord Cedric, of course, to of course. Gen- gently admonish the overzealous crowd, all while keeping in character, uh, their quote, not mine, please, my lord, don't bang the plates. <laughs> Come on, man. I, okay, I'm not trying to victim blame here please. when it comes to like the horses and stuff, but maybe just don't have live animals around and trying to rile the crowd up with, you know, jousting. They should completely pivot from medieval times and just do like ancient Rome and like do gladiator style yeah. fights because hey, it's probably more fun. B Gladiator was objectively a good movie. You want to hear how good the uh, objectively? Objectively, it's, I would say it's even subjectively. Subject, a good movie. hey, I'll it's give you movie. both. Uh, in eight, in uh, I guess in tenth grade, uh, our U- our world history class, we decided to uh, read a book about that that era. And the book was Gladiator based on the movie. And then after that, we got to watch the movie in class. That's based sick. on a true story. I was like, sure. are, we really reading, are we really reading the Gladiator book that's based on yeah. the movie? Probably, his, probably the historical accuracy was not quite up to snuff on that one. Yeah. If you're in, the world, his, if you're in world history in the Harbor Springs school system, let me know if it's gotten better. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only class I've ever gotten lower than a B in. All that armor, too. You know it smelled crazy in there. Dude, crazy. 
I mean, I'd probably unionize too if we had to just put our poop and stuff in like holes. I don't think they're paid particularly well. I don't think the actors actually poop in holes. Well, at the medieval times. No, that's they're method actors. Yeah, they they're like that all all the time. They what just is it, stay in it. What's it cost to get in a place like that? Like yeah, what's what's the yeah. damage of medieval times? It's a ticket. Of, it, okay, so you get probably uh, dinner served with it. Maybe your choice of ale, sir. Ale and turkey legs. Do you all get turkey legs, milk or is the, it like that's all they serve is turkey? No, legs. you can get milk of the poppy. I think <laughs> if you're really looking to vibe. Isn't that like their version of heroin? If, and Game yeah, of Thrones. It is. Like really? That's what it is. Yeah. It's poppy. Milk of. Why was everyone doing heroin in Game of Thrones? They weren't. They well, were. it was. It was just. It helps you sleep. But if you do too many drops and. Was Tanner was Tanner Lannister slinging on the low? Yeah, that's how he lost. Yeah, he his was job. pushing. He was pushing bricks. Damn, that's why he was never knighted. So is that what game of, is that what they were all arguing over? Was it just the drug trade? Yeah, <laughs> yes. John well, John Snow just a kingpin. They had these this Raven delivery system that would just deliver drugs all over the King's Land. The original Birdman. Yeah. What happened to that boy? Send a Raven. Those and Ravens, ne- they just didn't miss. Quote him nevermore. If you mix children, alcohol, and animals, it can be a very interesting situation if you don't have enough eyes on it, explained another worker. Not having enough event staff, that puts a lot of people at risk. The employee recounted a well-known incident during a rowdy Saturday night show when a drunken woman in the crowd made her way up to the throne and tried to grab the microphone attached to the queen's face. (laughs) Not cool. Requiring the queen, (laughs) the queen to fend off the woman on her own. A police officer was in the castle on duty, the worker said, but he was trying to keep watch on the entire crowd. What if they just cut their lack head? security? What, just cut one person's head off when they act out, and no one else will do it after that. Yeah, that, that's the move. You know, the last guillotine thing in France was in like the seventies. I mean, like that's kind of sick. Is it? I mean, I mean, no, it's not. But like, kind of. Ooh, you have a. I heard. I heard they were gonna make a. Aren't they taking Galen's head off? <laughs> yes. Town Square. No, she'll she'll take her own head off. I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be her doing it too. Oh no! No one else involved. Who could have done this? I like the meme. <laughs> <laughs> I I think the bigger issue here is just the business model of medieval times. Do people go there sincerely, or is it all like a like novelty? Like, <laughs> let's go to middle of the top. You're talking about times. larpers. Just yeah, like are there people who are actually into that shit, or is it just like a joke? Like, so let's go drink beer is, and watch, definitely this, that contingency. watch these dumbass people do their thing out there. So you're wondering if the LARP faction of the world goes to medieval times and watches it like we would go watch like a golf tournament? Yeah, like dude, he's got dude. No, he's like the best LARPer. Or is it just like just people just chuckling up in the the seats? Like, <laughs> what are we watching out here? I want to go to one. Like just a bachelor one party rolls um, up in there. How has PETA not shut this down would, yet? Yeah, would this not change your mind, Dylan? Um, what if I told you they have falconers with live falcons that buzz the crowd? Okay. I'm, is that, I'm, does that interest you? I'm interested. Okay. You do love a bird of prey. I, oh, my God. I really do. Falconers are dope, man. Very skilled. You ever seen like people like in Mongolia hunt with them? Like they'll hunt foxes? No. I have. <laughs> really? <laughs> Saw a video. You were in Mongolia? You, no, I never went to Mongolia. Falcon's not big enough to take a take a fox down. Have you ever been to a Mongolian yeah, barbecue? No, they don't, I don't think it's a falcon. I think it's like a, a larger bird. Pterodactyl? No, probably not. No, probably not the extinct dinosaur. Yeah, that'd be difficult. Maybe a condor or a maybe the California condor. Eagles get pretty big, man. That's facts. Did y'all have Mongolian barbecue back in the day? Tons Mongolian grill. Shout out Tons. Is that where, did you go up and you filled yes. your bowl with everything? Then they'd bring it to the thing, and make it, f- it for you. And it felt very um, unsanitary because it would just be like, mm-hmm. here's the raw chicken. And yeah. Like, eh. I'd be like, how, I didn't put mini corn in my bowl. How, why is there mini corn in it now? It must have mixed with the other people. I, yeah. got, I got ostrich there one time. I never did any of that. It tasted like chicken. Ostrich? Yeah. They're both birds. Arr. Hey, Will. Yeah, I'm sorry. That in the cave? That one was 
I, I didn't know what to do. Dude, I've been having hella bats in the cave lately. <laughs> Is that right, dog? Dude. Shit happens, I'll man. be honest. So just to pull back the curtain here, I've been having a little bit of a nasal issue lately. I have a little, I have like a, a cut inside of my nose that is creating some some scabbing issues. Have you been doing too much cocaine again? You know, I don't think it's the Not cocaine. You too. Yeah, Dylan got me addicted. The cocaine? No cocaine. Dylan got me, I'm just, I, I love it. I love the stuff. To cocaine. I don't like the stuff. I just like how it smells. <laughs> <laughs> TFM. Yeah. Check out my Twitter account. I have an Archer character. <laughs> Dude, I only drink single malt scotch. It's my That's thing. Sick, mm -hmm. man. Yeah. Yeah. I like having a two martini lunch. Working at the famous dinner theater chain, Medieval Times, comes with some unique occupational hazards. For instance, sometimes a guest who has emptied one too many goblets of booze starts banging the Middle Ages style plates and bowls together. Why don't you calm down out there, Steve? Get out. If you get kicked out of medieval times, you got to reevaluate a lot of things, right? That's a great story. That's though. rock bottom. If anyone, hey, if anyone out there has been gotten kicked out of medieval times, please send your story to worst of at washmedia.com. Again, that's worst of at washmedia.com. I feel like most people have only experienced medieval times through the cable guy. That's fair. Is that the most? Is that the most notable form of media that has gone to medieval times? It has to be. I just, I, I just, I, I want to go to one, and I, it kind of bums me out that Dylan is so anti. There is not one in Houston. I mean, you don't I found have to go out. with me. There's one in Dallas, though. So if we, if we do a Dallas meetup anytime soon, I'm going to meet. I do the meetup like, there. I can't imagine it being fun. Like I can't. No, I don't Dylan, understand how you can't imagine I, it being fun. I think Parks might love it, and I think you would have fun too. Yeah, but then what if Parks wants to get into like jousting? I, I probably won't let him. It seems very dangerous. Papa, Papa, fun to see a joust. They are going to be late to school, my lord. They use those big, uh, what are the, the big, what are they, what are the jousting things on the Huge horseback? Jewel? What do they call those things? Oh, Joust? The, the spears? Sure. There's a name for they them. They do some sword fighting and shit? They're sword fighting, correct. Yeah. Okay. Which is dope. <laughs> I guess. Have I you heard, know. like, when, so it's really hard to set up because, like, it has to be a pretty special space in order to accommodate like what medieval times needs you have to have a kitchen you have to have you know the, th the stables stable. for the horses and stuff like that and so when they have to move all that stuff in they have to get these special there's specialists that move the stuff it's the college monks Col <laughs> college monks yeah the monks went to college huh okay He's not sure about that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just leave it at this. The workers have nothing to lose but their chain mail. Damn. Medieval workers unite. Do we support the unionites? I support the people who work there, sure. I don't support the people who go there for fun. Because <laughs> they're not getting paid. That's mean. I kind of like that. <laughs> Would you rather go to one? Okay, if you had to watch it, would you rather go to one or sit at home and live stream it? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'd rather uh, I'd rather go to it, just to like just you know if I have to if I have to watch it. Miles, I don't know what Miles would do. I'm, I want to drink out of a a chalice, a chalice or a goblet. Yeah, stop acting like this is like a bad thing. What's the food, Will? All what right. It's turkey. So, so it's a four-course meal. It's a four-course meal. It's mashed potatoes and that's turkey. That's fit leg. for royalty. <laughs> no. Yeah, baby. It says that uh, Queen Maria Isabella welcomes you to dine with her and her royal court. Always generous, the host. Uh, always a generous host. The queen has commanded her royal chefs to cook you her favorite meal just for you. Which is? Uh, it is garlic bread, tomato bisque soup, roasted chicken, sweet buttered corn, and herb-basted potatoes. And Is of course, a vegan option, my lord. A feast isn't complete without dessert. You can satisfy your sweet tooth with a treat worthy of royalty served with hot coffee. Ooh, Ooh bing like bong, huh? Yeah. Me okay. lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, bing bong, me lord. <laughs> they said all of the guests can choose a non-alcoholic beverage of the castle upon being seated, but they do offer rotating specials, specialty drinks, and large overflowing steins to liven the scene even more. Me lord, is there a gluten-free option? Is my diver tick. Yeah. <laughs> my celiac is, is, is flaring up. Some milk of the poppy for my intestinal tract, my lord. <laughs> wow. 
This is stupid. It is. But shout out to them. Yeah, catch me not going still. I've been, it, I've been no, making you're events. Go. Dude, the last time I went, I got called down to the jousting area. Really? What happened? <laughs> it was cool. And I was like really excited to do it. But then I looked down afterwards and I was like, oh my God, all the dirt from this and all the dog or all the horse poop got all over my shoes. But luckily I was wearing Rothy's. Wow. When it comes to shoes, they got to feel <laughs> as good as they look. And Rothy's knits, uh, their, their style, their comfort. Every pair is just super soft, perfectly cushioned sneakers. These things are comfortable straight out the box. You don't have to worry about blisters or anything. But the best part about these is that they're washable. Yeah, I said washable. You can washable. wash these things. Yeah, they're wow. washable. They even have one-of-a-kind driving loafers that come in classic colors and eye-catching patterns. They're just made for the modern man. You're a modern man, Dylan. Uh, yeah. Not made for the medieval man. The no, modern not, man. not the medieval man. Pretty, Everybody knows pretty sure that. it's the modern I'm man. Very modern. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of these people are just wowed by the sleek, upcycled shoes that look just as great as they feel. These things are all sustainably made, machine washable, and best of all, they're built to last. They are very comfortable. I'm shoes. actually shocked that none of us are wearing Rothy's today. It's a, they're common in the office. Brett probably I has wear them, them on. to the gym. Brett I, has them on all the time. If I'm if I'm doing a uh, I'm doing deadlifts, or I, I just wear them. They're very comfortable, and if I sweat in them, I can just throw them in the washer. Well, what's nice about these is that you can pretty much wear them anywhere. They're good looking enough that you can wear them out to a restaurant and not feel like you're just wearing a random pair of like gym shoes. But you can also just rock them to go run some errands and be mega comfortable. Being able to just wash these and have them come out like new, just sign me up. These things are just great. They pair well with anything. These should be a staple in any guy's wardrobe. Just make it happen. Or the ladies out there too. My mom's obsessed with them. You know Nance is booted up right now. I, I gave her my code to get some free ones one time because yeah. I was like, you know what? I got my Rothy's. I'm going to give my mom some. And she went Aww. to the sales section. I was like, mom, go go cop some regular wow. price boys. Go That'd off, man. Yeah, she's wild. Find out what all the hype is about. Discover your new favorite pair of shoes and get $20 off your first purchase at rothys.com slash steam. That's R-O-T-H-Y-S dot com slash steam for $20 off your first order. Dylan, I drink your goblet. <laughs> my so, lord. Isn't it like me? If you say me, Lord, that's a sign you're like a peasant, but my, you're supposed to say my Lord. It's, it's I'm pretty my peasant Lord. It's just M apostrophe Lord, I think. My Lord. My lady. Dude, I bet you've never even tried mead before. What? I bet you've never even tried mead. Mead? Yeah. I don't know. What is it? Is that the stuff in Chicago that's like everybody wants to do shots of, but it's really gross? No, dude. Everyone knows that's my Lord, dog. Oh, fuck. Different. Everyone knows that mead is a fermented beverage made of honey, water, and yeast. Ooh, that sounds sounds kind of dope. Yeah, I like kind of like sangria a little bit. Yeah, I heard I like heard Vizzy's though. dropping their mead pack soon. <laughs> That's the last name of the first girl I ever had a crush on, by the way. Mead. Yeah. What? I knew first girl I ever had a crush on. How do you how would she spell that? M e a d. I've never heard of a human being named that. Shots all the meads. Was she up? There's to? at least one out there. Have you yeah. reached out to her? Let me look. Let me look. Like before you were married? This was um, mead smokers only. This is like kindergarten, first grade stuff. That's a very niche Instagram account. She might mm -hmm. be married. Someone probably locked her down. Honestly. Yeah, she's sweet as honey. Hard to say. Also fermented. That's that's not her. Anyway, uh, you hear about this Linda Skeens person? Yeah, she's. Oh, bad bitch alert. Obviously, because we're wearing our Will Mommy's, uh, you know, tags right now. Like, we're, we like to see girl bosses win. Well, always. That's what we do. We're, we're girl bosses' number one fans. We cheer them on all the time. Linda Skeens is no different. She is, I mean, actually, she is different. Why did she get wronged in this tweet? What? Did you know that someone named Linda Skeens? Like, that's not that crazy of a name. Yeah, it's just Linda. Come on. Yeah, well, it turns out that Linda Skeens entered the Virginia Kentucky District Fair and just absolutely dunked on the entire competition. <laughs> she won almost every single. She one was of like, them. "Nah, wait. Oh, you think you think you're good? No, I got it. You this think... was this was a regular fair, not like a Renaissance festival. So we can't continue with that joke series. We could if we wanted to. Okay, I'm gonna pretend it's a, a Renaissance festival. But you know, they go. You go to the fair and they have the contests. Like they have a bunch of different ones. Like you you bring your produce and you get to win win prizes. Well. Over the best overall winners were just pretty much all Linda Skeens. <laughs> like, some people are good at one thing. Linda Skeens is good at everything. Best at overall everything. canned vegetable. <laughs> yeah. Like everything's coming up Linda Skeens these days. She got the overall best canned vegetable, best canned tomato, pickled cucumber, non cucumber pickled item, which she did peppers. She's bad. Oh, Skeens, Skeens, goddamn. Yeah. She hit him with the, the best relish overall, 
Did you see the baked good one? What's the baked good one? She won almost everything. Cakes, Dude. pies, um, cookies. She got first, second, and third place. <laughs> <laughs> I do have a question about the winner, Luella Perry, of best overall quilt. And it says in parentheses, her quilt was, quote, the crazy quilt. Yeah, this quilt is crazy. Wow. So someone... Uh, also shared the the well they whoever tweeted that shared a screenshot of looks like some Facebook comments, and the top <laughs> one is hilarious. Linda Skeens ain't here to make friends, just here to make history, and she did. Well, Linda Skeens also commented on the post no. announcing that she's different, and she said thanks, y'all. And when you look at a picture of Linda, it I, looks like it looks like Farming keeps oh, her young. I get the feeling that someone was trying to be funny and just created the Linda Skeens account. That looks like a, a, a fake pick. That old bag pick. of bones doesn't have the energy okay. to make all these dishes. Well, so there's another Sir? Linda Skeens who had to actually make a statement saying, I am not the Linda Skeens that is goaded at fairs. Like, oh, I am not that Linda person. Skeens. Yeah, there's another one out there who's just getting like all the praise and she had Man. to she had to shift it. Hopefully people aren't looking into Linda's like Reddit history. Yeah, are, are we about to see a world where Linda Skeens gets canceled after yeah. her, her performance at the she, Virginia Kentucky District Fair? She went from best overall canned tomato to canceled. I mean, if Linda walks in the fair, like no one's guy is safe at that point. No. No. Best overall relish, chow chow. What is chow chow? Don't know. Want to know? Bet it's great. Bet this overall, this best overall jelly is fire. Robin Moore also showed up to to put people in body bags, but she she got body bags she, herself. She, she just showed, showed up, up in the wrong era. Yeah, she's like it's like Phil. I, I, Any here, other era, she's goaded. It kind of bums me out that out of all the things that Linda Skeens does, she apparently doesn't do salsa because you're telling me that there's a first place and second place salsa, and she wasn't either of those. She, mm. dude, Linda Skeens even made candy. She got first, second, and third place in the candy category. Why is she making corn relish and squash relish and she has canned tomatoes, but she can't make a fire-ass salsa? Can you imagine her home on Halloween? Like what she's handing out? But what, do you think she's just giving out like produce? <laughs> <laughs> we got to talk to Brandon, I think. <laughs> no, I think Avi might be taking else too. He, she he, got she got quit. three different she got three different like medals for just savory bread alone and candy and cookies. This is very this is very good wholesome content. Savory bread. Like, how long was she in the lab just making all this shit? Dude, she's cooking. She's got some time on, on her hands. I mean, from chow chow to corn relish to baked goods to. Actually, there's a screenshot of her Relish. social media. She actually uh, went dark on social media like LeBron does when he's in the playoffs. <laughs> she was like, all right, all right, y'all. You won't hear from me that. for the next three weeks because I'm just out here harvesting. Hey, nobody bothered Linda for the, yeah, for the next month. Mm -mm. Glaring lack of, uh, <laughs> She's doing work. Glaring lack of specificity on candy. She got first, second, and third, like you said, but it just says candy. Dude, you know what, Linda puts out some fire-ass saltwater taffy. Candy could be anything or many things. <laughs> Saltwater taffy. That's a good old person candy. Yeah. My saltwater yeah. taffy. Yeah, my I favorite. I got first place at the fair. My favorite flavor is saltwater. <laughs> Why is it called saltwater it taffy? Tickles my, salt water? It tickles just, my tongue. There's a little salt on it. Is that all? I don't know. There's probably more to it. Do you guys say salted caramel or salt, salted caramel? Why do you say salted? Just, you just say caramel or caramel. But it's different. I mean. It has salt on it. Right, depends it, on if she's five, it doesn't, five with brown eyes. Doesn't affect the way you see the second part of that. What? What do you? What, okay, do you see it caramel or caramel? Dude, I was eating. This is a true story. I was eating a caramel. <laughs> It'd um, be weird if you just told a lie about I was eating, eating a caramel. caramel makes uh, up. Sucker last night. Okay. Like, it was like leftover Halloween. It's been in our house for a long time. Leftover. Is it the Halloween one with like candy. the green candy on it too? Yeah. Yeah. And I swear that it got. I was sitting there watching TV and it was just sitting in my mouth. And I swear my. It got stuck to my teeth, and I almost pulled like these teeth out right now. Yeah, here. Dylan, that's why I don't. Okay, one, I, I panicked. Those will do that either way to you. And doing eating that, I don't know, six months after the fact, like you're asking for your teeth to get ripped. Plus, out. about thirty minutes prior, I had taken a uh, early bird, and so like when this happened and it got stuck, I started to panic. Dude, what if Dylan pulled up today with wooden teeth? Be hilarious. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have gotten wooden teeth right away. Well, I, I was like, Brittany, Brittany. I was like, I'm about to pull my teeth out. I can't get this off of my teeth. It's completely stuck. And I just had to jimmy it for the like five minutes and get it unstuck. It was pretty scary. Next time you talk to Brittany about what she wants to change about you, she's going to be like, stop getting stoned on the couch and getting suckers stuck to your teeth. <laughs>
Just a couple <laughs> d- uh, drops of milk of the poppy will take care of it for you. <laughs> okay. Just a heads up. Thank you. Yeah, heroin fixes it all. Right. It was, it was a little scary, man. Dude, but I'm you, still here with all my teeth. Do you think Linda Skeens grows that fire ass hydro in her backyard? Oh, she's shit. got the stickiest weed. You pull up in her like her her closet, and she's got like the lamps, that whole setup that mm-hmm. everybody's one friend in high school tried to do, but failed. Yeah. So uh, her, he's trying to grow hydro in his closet. God. Didn't work. She's up there. She's making that chronic, man. Do you think she just sits in the back room of the fair, just like drinking like Dom? Just like, yeah. Like watching everyone try all the trophy dope. season. Watch bitch. everyone try all over dope shit she made. She's like, <laughs> yeah, that's right, bitch. You like that candy, don't you? Yeah, sit down. First overall mead. How's that relish, bitch? Damn, did she make a fire ass mead too? <laughs> Yeah, good for her. Uh, this, this, she sounds like uh, the ultimate grandma, if I may. Dude, I mean, she's goaded. God, she is. Someone said, "Imagine spending weeks perfecting the perfect cookie recipe for the fair, only for Linda Skeens to win first, second, and third. <laughs> <laughs> she, she brought at least three different cookies, and they're all better than whoever would finish fourth in fourth place." Someone said, "Got to start calling her Inda Skeens because she does not have any L's." I love that. <laughs> Somebody's going to have to inform me what chow chow is because apparently that's a thing and I am unfamiliar with it. It's it looks a, torch. It's a dessert. No. Right? Mm-mm. It's not? No, you're thinking of something else. It's a, it's a type of relish. I mean, it's a dog. It's a type of True. relish? Really? It's a pickled relish. Chow pickled chow. vegetables. Chow Just chow like, relish. Honestly, What's the, the origin? I bet my dad makes a fire ass chow chow relish. Probably good probiotics. Probably really good probiotics. Do the Dave. fermentation, Dylan. Okay. Should we get Linda on the pod? I don't like that it's Let's called. Give her a pod. I don't like that it's called chow chow. Why? The dumbass. It's a little name. too dog foodie. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Ooh, I also I don't like it when people refer to just regular human food as chow. It can no, be chow. It's weird. It's like. What are you? I'm a puppy. It's very like uh, early 80s movie. Yeah, come get your chow. Oh, yeah, let's go right, get some I'm chow. Gonna, I'll just eat my sandwich. You just go actually. get some food. Yeah. I've never, I've never thought that. this. Uh, the word chow owns no real estate in my head. Well, I've been thinking about it for a long time. Let's chow down. I'm very bothered. Chow. Like goodbye? I'm actually using Babel, so I know what that means. Have you gotten a Prego yet? No. You can say Prego for anything in Italy. That's big. No. Ciao. Really, cool. really thought you were about to launch into a read for Babel, but no. That would have been sick. No, I just enjoyed learning Italian with my ragazzi. Mm. You're studying with a, a, a bunch of dudes. A bunch of dudes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We have a study club. We meet at my uh, apartment pool. We're just talking Italian to each other and drinking Negronis. If someone wants to send us some chow chow, we will receive it and mm. report back. I'm going to pass on it. Okay. I bet one of the Will Mommies makes a fire ass chow chow. If there's not chow chow at Camp Will Mommies this year, something's wrong. You show up to the meetup with some pickled relish, it's going down. How about we just get Linda at Camp Will Mommies this year? Yeah. Is that too she much could be that? the house chef. Like the house mom. Is she the ultimate Will Mommy? I don't want I want Linda to let loose and have fun. I don't want her to be in the kitchen the whole time. Yeah, we, I, she could do it. It stresses me out imagining like the Will Mommies doing body shots off Linda. That's a key to yeah. That's my key to staying yeah. alive. <laughs> Cooking for strangers. Yeah. Body shots. Yeah. Five nights a week. Hey Macy, can, Macy, nights. can you help me with this Instagram caption? I'm trying to go viral. <laughs> Is it fire? <laughs> In the schemes, dude. You know what the squad's gonna be doing this weekend? Whole squad. Not talking about us necessarily. I'm talking about just the general human race squad. What? They're going to be grilling in the backyard, baby. That's right. Fourth of July weekend. Are you kidding me? You better get that lawn right. You have to. You don't want those chemicals in there. You want grass. You just want the grass machine to be spraying those pure chemicals all over you. There's a uh, a Fourth of July parade (laughs) through my neighborhood. And then you go right by right by the crib. Yeah. A lot of eyes on the lawn this weekend. Really? A lot of eyes. Ooh. Man, when I'm on Dylan's lawn, it feels like every day is Sunday, baby. I'm talking about Sunday lawn care. You know what it is. Right. Man. I I mean, like, everyone wants a beautiful lawn without those harsh chemicals. And this year, 
everyone's using Sunday. It's made with ingredients that you, you can actually pronounce like seaweed, iron, and molasses. And the best part, it actually works. So whether your lawn's got weeds, bear patches, or pet spots, you got we got pets. We they out do. here. They pee in the lawn. They pee, pee, poo, poo, all that. They do it all. But Sunday can help you solve these problems and more the easy way because they've got everything you need from fertilizer to seeds to weed control. And it's all delivered right to your door. Our lawns, they're looking better than ever. And guess what? You can do it all yourself because Sunday makes it easy to do it yourself with your lawn. No guesswork and no unwanted chemicals. Your yard is your personal oasis and it deserves the best. Sunday helps you grow beautiful lawns, control pests, and fight weeds without the toxic stuff. Their custom lawn care is effective and super easy. You just have to go to GetSunday.com, put in your address, and their lawn analysis tool takes care of the rest. They use soil and climate data to create personal nutrient plans delivered right to your door right when you need it. Their lawn care products are made with your family in mind. And that's why they use ingredients you can feel good about, like that seaweed, that iron, and that molasses that I already spoke of. And the best part, yeah, it works. And Sunday's offering our listeners 20% off. Full season plans start at just $129, and you can get 20% off when you can visit GetSunday.com slash Steam at checkout. That's 20% off your custom plan at GetSunday.com slash Steam. PSA time. It's a public service announcement. Y'all got to stop trying bison or other large animals too, for that matter. Right. But especially bison, especially though. bison. Yeah. Someone got gored again. Well, last time I guess they got tossed, right? Dude, I bet Linda Skeens made some fire ass gourd. <laughs> also maybe some bison. Probably. You think she dabbles in bison? She makes bison burgers. It's mm-hmm. a high quality protein. Dude, it is. You give her the ingredients and she'll she'll make magic. Imagine you go to Yellowstone. Yellowstone's a bucket list for a lot of people. Great right? show. Very true. Never watched it's it. It's actually not a that good. A little absurd. It's kind of over, overrated. They cut but, their helicopter budget after season one. Bullshit. But you go there. How is that possible? They did whatever. You go there and you're like, you know what? This isn't. This isn't enough. I got to get out of the vehicle. We got to walk up to that that 2,000 pound animal over there. See that bison, the thing with the horns? We got to walk right up to that fucker. I learned the hard way to respect large animals. Remember, I almost got trampled. I got run down that time by horses, Dave. Yeah. Oh, when your family horses turned they on turned you? They turned on you. What'd you do? I, that's, the, that's the question. You did yeah. something to, to they, deserve it. They tried to clobber my brains out, stomp me out. Our hooves. They tried to put their hooves on my dome. It was terrifying. Put the hooves on you? Chopping you up? Right. Get a horseshoe to the face. Man, I watched this video not long ago. Mm -hmm. It was um, was these these two horses. They put them in a pen to mate. Oh, yeah. And one of the the female horse got got really excited and, and kicked. Oh, no. The male horse right between the eyes, and it dropped dead instantly. It was a wild ass video. Dude, Let's, don't stand behind horses. Don't get kicked by a horse. Damn. Just drop dead. All's fair in love and war. Lights out. What? What? Just don't go up to the, the, the bison. Right. Just don't do it. That's what we're trying to tell you here. Like, don't go up to the bison. I know the gram's going to be fire. This dude had his kid with him. Yeah. And the kid was like the size of Parks, basically. It was a tiny little kid. Had no business being by an animal that large. Yeah, but it, the guy didn't die. Okay, and he got a chunk out of his arm from this bison. Okay, like that kid's going to school after the summer, and they're gonna be like, "Oh, everyone, go around the class and introduce yourself and say what you did this summer." And he was like, "Yeah, I saw my dad fight a bison. I'm the bison kid. That's kind of that's kind of sick." And me, and everyone's like, "Oh, your dad's a dumbass for taking you around that bison because it's a bison." I get that they have an impressive resume. Bison. Yeah. Yeah. But it's just not necessary. Mascot of uh, North Dakota State? Invented the internet. Where did... um, Vice president. Where did Carson Wentz go? Arguably won the 2000 election. Where did Carson Wentz go? College. North Dakota State? I think so. The bison? The bison? I'm doing mascots now. I'm sorry. No, I'm, I'm curious now. If I got that right, I'm very proud of myself. Well, I, I just said it too. I just said North Dakota. Uh, nobody cares. Do you guys know what the difference between a bison and a buffalo is? Uh, of course. North Dakota State. Of course. Because I was going to say, like the Colorado are, Buffs logo looks just like a bison, but it's a buffalo. The, Dave, are they the bison? North Dakota State. I closed out of the You were window. just there. I think so. Jeez, dude. dude. Let Will give us the fun fact. 
Bison have large humps at their shoulders and bigger heads than buffalo. They also have beards. Ooh, am I Loki a bison? Don't give yourself too. As well as thick coats, which they shed in the spring and early summer. I kind of do that too. I always up my pelly game a little bit before spring and summer. Shed my winter LBs with my beard. My broad ass shoulders. Your beard came back thick again, man. Looks Dude, good. I think my I can't believe I'm saying this. I think my beard came back thicker. Like it it's more formidable right now. I did a deep trim a couple weeks ago and I'm back and better than ever, baby. Is this an ad read? No. Okay. <laughs> There's an artist I follow on Instagram, and I want to get like his his bison painting, but I'm like I've never even seen a bison. They're not native to where I live, um, so I I feel like it would be weird to have it. But I might get it anyway. Dave, someone turned the um, as this the only way I eat my fajitas, girl. That picture into an oil print painting sort of thing, and I want to I just want to buy it for you and send it to Framebridge and have it. Let's and get put it. it up. Let's get it for the studio. It's, it, I think it'd be a cool something for you to have. Do you think that is your moment? You love that moment. It was my favorite night on Twitter. <laughs> Cause we were everybody was just sitting home. It was early, it was still mid early pandemic. And it was just like, oh, what's going on in the timeline? Oh. A lot, turns out. Yeah. He, he had so a podcast. He was so put out. Yeah, he did have a podcast. He deleted it. I looked for it recently. He deleted his podcast. I tried to find it. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to just shut it down. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Let's call it. <laughs> he shut off the anchor ads. Yeah, that's too bad. Yeah, just leave them alone. Like, even it's weird to me when you see videos of people like going through like safari or in the United States, like in their cars, and like, oh, there's a there's there's a lion or like there's whatever. And it's like I I feel like a lot of them they really really wanted to get in the car and get you. They could like, oh, a bear. I'm in a car, but there's a bear. If that bear really really wanted to. You gotta keep your doors locked. Bear yeah, but open a doors. bear could a bear could rip the door off if I'm not mistaken, couldn't they? I don't know, man. Probably. Like it always it freaks me out. Like you know how when people go to like Africa and they go on the safaris and stuff and they get all close to the animals. I'm like, that's legit and stuff. But like, how long until one of my my boys just gets swiped? You have seen the one where the cheetah will like jump up yeah. into it with people? And yeah, it's like, kind of sick. You're just kind of like, Haha, this is great, but, but then, then again. Become if it came down to a combat with a cheetah, I'm, I'm, I feel pretty comfortable about my chances. I don't want you to die at the hands of a cheetah, but at the same time, I don't. I want you to be proven wrong. You want it to. Humble it would be me. good for the podcast if a cheetah got me. It would be yeah. good for the podcast if it brought you to the brink of death, and then we had to like record without you for a few weeks, and then you came back. They're not built to go to the mat. They're just not. No, they're. Are, and you though, are. And you are more so than a cheetah. Who who wins against? Who, how many cheetahs would it take to bring down AJ Ferrari? Seventeen. That's no. I'll give you two. You think AJ two Ferrari, David? Are you serious? Isn't he like five eight? Doesn't matter. He's yeah, but AJ he's been Ferrari. working on yoga and stuff. You know. All right. I'm not saying. Look, I, I have you love seen a him short pop king. top? You seen him with the shirt off? He's yoked. He looks different than I do. He should have been in our video, but he wasn't. Anyway. We should have invited him to do the Muggsy are you, video. Are, do you know what AJ Ferrari's at is on Twitter? Let's invite him to be a guest on the pod. I His like ad is Mr. Fast Twitch. That's sick. He's a fast Twitch athlete. He didn't have a very big following. I guess he's not very active on Twitter. I mean, his Twitter is absurd. How's he doing on the Grom, though? He, he tweets in all caps. That's a good look. Sometimes. Mr. Fast Twitch on Instagram. Let me guess. I'm going to say... 85,000 followers. What's your guess? I was going to go lower. I was going to say like 65. Dave is, again, once again, very weirdly good at this game at 82.5. Okay. It's almost like Dave works in media. I think Dave's one of his followers, and that's how he knows. I'm not, look. actually. I, I had a hunch that we might talk Ferrari today, though. If, if we pulled up your phone right now and we went to AJ Ferrari's profile. I swear to God. And then we, we went to the message function from your profile. Have you messaged AJ Ferrari? No, I don't. I've got a rule. I don't really message DM college kids. What's the, what's the worst? What's the, what's the most egregious Unless unanswered Adam. DM that you've ever had? Most egregious unanswered? Yeah, what was like the Nick's, biggest Hail Mary that just Nick's clearly Swartzen. wasn't going to happen? Nick Swartzen. Oh. During South by when I saw he was gonna be I was like, hey man, we do a podcast, man. We'd love to have you on. Or if not, man, I'd love to buy I think I even said I'd love to buy you a beer. And I was like, God, that's so lame. When yeah, Dylan was lame. single, was uh, JoJo was in town from The Bachelor. She was in town for a uh bachelorette party. 
Uh-huh. And I DM'd her being like, yo, should we link? My boy's, my boy's trying to mob tonight. Who did this I really DM? happen? Yeah. Yeah, she didn't respond. Joel Fletcher. Yeah. I tried it didn't to, happen. I swear to God, it happened. I don't remember. I know exactly one. where I was walking when I was like, dude, I'm DMing her and seeing if she wants Will to hang pull, so we can hook her up, up with Dylan. I think I probably deleted it out of shame the next day. I would have deleted it out of fear account. of my wife. No offense. I'm glad mm. you didn't, but. I, just to be clear, I wasn't trying to hook up with JoJo. I was trying to hook Dylan up with JoJo. I, that's, yeah. my, that's my dog right mm -hmm. there. That's it's very different. nice of you. I'm different. Uh, I messaged, Did she see it? I messaged Katie Musgraves one time, but. Katie Musgraves or. Is that her sister? Did I say Katie? I don't know. Casey. I think I said Casey. Uh, she didn't respond to me. What What was your DM to her? We again? have connects with both of these of these ladies. By the way, JoJo went to Baylor. I thought I messaged Kendall Jenner too. But I looked and there's no there's no post history. Don't I mean, have a connect. With I her. did. I did uh, DM uh, uh, Kylie when she became a billionaire. I just said, "Ha ha, what's good?" <laughs> ah, ha, ha. She <laughs> she didn't respond. You drop this queen. Oh, that, that's what I sent to Casey Musgrave. <laughs> you drop this queen. <laughs> you drop this. And then my caption is just, here you go, queen. Was this, was this post her divorce? Uh, yeah, she and she didn't respond. I heard she was just singing about Maybe, you the entire new album. She probably just didn't see it, honestly. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like double respond tap Respond right it. now and say bump. I just double tapped it so she maybe she'll get the notey. Say, hey, I want to put this at the top of your inbox. <laughs> <laughs> She'd never tell you how to dress. Yeah. She'd be like, keep dressing yeah. like shit. Yeah, what the hell? Uh, she likes getting high. Does she? She'd be okay with you getting suckers stuck to your teeth late night. She's very talented. You need to be careful with those suckers, dude. I, I, I threw it away. I was like, you know what? I'm out of the sucker game now. I'm at the game. It would be so funny if Dylan had to walk in with no teeth today, though. What was Dylan's candy? like? The, he got that Linda Skeen's drip. The Charleston Chew. The Charleston Chew. Yeah. <laughs> They're so Stick good, Stick to dog. the Charleston Chews. Go with what you know, man. And just leave the buffalo alone. Those caramel suckers, man, they're dangerous. So you're a caramel guy. It's pretty hoity-toity of you. I'm not a big, not big time, but like, oh fuck with it. So you, if, if what do you call it when you dip the apple in around Halloween? A caramel apple? What are you talking about? Yeah. What do I call I it? I just want to see how you said it. Caramel. caramel. Okay, you don't have to have other words along with it to see how you pronounce the word caramel. No, I caramel. think I think I how do you think say it? you need I to hear it the, flow. I think the juxtaposition of the words. Oh, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, is it He's changes right. how, how do you, you say, say it? I say caramel. How do, you, how do you say salt, salted caramel? Caramel, salted caramel. How does Dave say it? Salted caramel. I think I say caramel. Caramel. I caramel? think I say caramel in some scenarios, and then caramel. I can I just don't really you, say because I don't really f with it. I can promise you that I never say it with confidence. I was like car caramel, like like rural. Yeah, R the rural. Remember when you invited me over for your Halloween party, but nobody was there and you just wanted to bob for apples? I don't remember that. Dude, in sixth grade, this kid, we called him Ganja back in the day. He had he had a bobbing for apples contest on the last day of school. And a really gross film started forming. Ew. I never recovered like from it. I, I, haven't, I haven't bobbed for apples since. That's nasty. It was stanky. Didn't like it. Hairspray. Shout to Ganja, though. Sick party. That's yeah. when that's when Eminem's first album just came out. Mm. We were like, are the parents going to let us play this at the party? Are we going to get in trouble? Probably. Had they listened. Yeah. Yeah. Yellowstone says visitors should stay more than 25 yards away from all large animals, including bison, elk, and moose, and at least 100 yards away from bears and wolves. 25 yards doesn't seem like enough. No, I was just going to say. I a could, moose can Dylan chop. could punt a donut hole from that distance to the bison. Yeah, think about that. Like... You've seen them. We've all seen the moose. I feel like it's referenced on here often. Just chugging along through the snow. Absolutely chopping through the Ima snow. Just imagine perfect conditions moose. It gives you a 25 yard head start. Is, are, are moose faster than like sprinters? Ye yes. Okay. So you saying Bolt could beat a. He I would, don't know. Wouldn't be able to beat a moose? How fast are moose? How many kilometers per hour? I think it's actually, you would say in that scenario, mice? Mo moosey. I think it's mice. Moose actually. Maasai. Mooses. Uh, wow, 35 miles per hour maximum. Yeah. This is an adult moose. Humans don't get that fast, Dave. I think. What about Mr. Fast Twitch? Bolt tops out at like 23 and a half, 24, 24. Damn, those moose take the top off the defense. I'm about to get the Mr. Fast Bitch handle. It's just the What's AJ Ferrari mean? parody account. 
<laughs> okay. It's just me shirtless. Like, I love not, you, AJ. I don't think it's going to do Dude, we, We're getting AJ Ferrari. We're getting him on too much debt. No, he's part of our guest initiative. He's going to be on. Let's put him on the board, Will. Yeah. Make sure make sure Randy doesn't do it. Now that we have a dope studio, we're going to get more guests in. So if any backers out there have any connections to dope guests, just DM us. Yeah. <laughs> If anybody can get us Linda, let us know. Yeah. If you if you have a connect to Linda Skeens, she's not responding to my Facebook message, probably because she forgot her password. With the Skeens. Or she's still in dark mode. No, she's in beast mode. Yeah. This was just a setup for the next fair. She's going state to state, just taking names. <laughs> she's actually doing a set at Lilith Fair. Really? She's yeah. going to run train Did on you every ever fair go to Lilith in the fair? country. No, I wish I would have. I feel like I could see a scenario where you went to Lilith Fair. Dude, I, I can't believe I'm saying this. I've said this before on the pod, but D Dave Portnoy of Barstool Sports on his Spotify, he has a really good Lilith Fair playlist. Let me check it out. Is Haim on there? He made it. No, Haim's not Lilith Fair. No, Haim's too, Haim's too young you're for right, Lilith Fair. Right. You got to have your Sarah McLaughlin's, your Natalie Imbruglia's, your Indigo Girls. You know what I'm talking about. Melissa Etheridge. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Is it time for This Weekend in Fun presented by Vizzy Hard Seltzer? This yeah, is going to be yeah, an it it's going to be an all-time vibes weekend. Grilling, it's patriotic, chilling, vibes. independence vibes. Shouts to uh America. Fast twitching. Just good lawns. It's all a vibe out there. No matter where summer takes you, one thing's for sure. It's going to be a vibe. And when you're ready to make the good times even better, or the good vibes even better even, a nice cold Vizzy Hard Seltzer will be waiting. Vizzy Hard Seltzer passes the vibe check with its bold and delicious dual fruit flavors. Vizzy has you covered this summer with a wide range of refreshing fruit flavors like pineapple, mango, black cherry, lime, strawberry, kiwi, and blueberry pomegranate. And if you want even more variety, guess what? They got the lemonade hard seltzer pack. And guess what? That's refreshing as hell. They even have the watermelon hard seltzer pack as well. Everyone likes a good watermelon, especially midsummer. Ooh. They got delicious fruit combinations like papaya passion fruit, watermelon, strawberry, blackberry, lemon, raspberry, tangerine. All these are just absolute heat. We were out at the bars the other night and Randy rolled up to the bar and he was like, you know what? I'm going to get a Vizzy. He did, didn't he? And he was just drinking Vizzy's with the Roback boys. That's a vibe. Vizzy Hard Seltzer, the seltzer that passes the vibe check because Vizzy is a vibe. To find Vizzy near you, go to VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash washed. That's VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash washed. And for updates on the latest flavor drops and more, sign up at VizzyHardSeltzer.com slash subscribe. Must be 21 or older. Dylan, what are you getting into this weekend? Thanks for asking, Will. Um, I'm going to kick my weekend off on Friday by getting a haircut. <laughs> Pretty excited for that one. Cool. Yeah, I don't have a ton going on. So, I mean, uh, so Parks' mother is in Alaska. She's out of town, vacay. And so I'm going to have the little guy all weekend. Not that I can't have fun with the little guy, but it kind of changes my plans a little bit. I'll have him Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then on the 4th, which is Monday. That's right. It, it is Monday, right? Correct. Yeah, don't come to work. I will not be at work. Um, and that is when he will go back to his mom. So I'm going to have a, a date up. I don't know. Like I said, there's a, that parade that goes by my house. I might just... Post up in a lawn chair. There's a parade on the 4th of July that goes by your house? I said that you earlier, said that yeah. Earlier. I missed that. I wasn't listening gonna to you. We were doing the Sunday lawn read, and I was like, I got my lawn, my lawn looking sharp. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I was in so the zone. If you want to you want to swing through with some Vizzies and just maybe post up with me and watch. Uh, when is the parade? Yeah, parades feel like they go through early. Not You have my attention. You, you have my attention. Yeah, I like I to get think, the heat. I want to say 10 a.m., but I could be wrong. All right. I'm, I need to go buy some headphones for a little Fritz, man, but I'm coming over. Yeah, it could it could be an absolute scene. I'm right gonna there. come over and I'm gonna I'm gonna drink beers on your lawn. Okay, that sounds great. Are you okay with that? Lawn yeah, beers. absolutely, I am. I don't really have anything going on. I want to do Matt's El Rancho at some point this weekend. Oh. Based on the fact that I don't have much to do this weekend, Dylan, I'm pretty sure that like Matt's is gonna be my home base. Can we do Matt's Friday? Uh, Dave. Dave. David. Maybe. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Okay. Pitch it to your wives. Kids can come. I don't care. Maybe not. Maybe you, Maybe like the Oasis song. Mm -hmm. I was just going to say that. <laughs> you had to listen to Patreon, man. Yeah. Only, pa only true only patrons get that. understand right. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Took an L. And um, yeah, I, I don't really have much, guys. So there it is. What's that boy getting into? Friday, I'm playing golf. You'll be there. Mm-hmm. 
Our friend Ryan will be hosting us again, as he often does. Shout out to him. Brett will be there. Dylan, sad you can't play. I'm sad. Especially Dylan passed it up to get his ears lowered. Especially, what are you no. gonna get? What kind of haircut are you gonna get? You should get USA in the back of your head. I'm gonna get the Tim Tebow, where it has the line that kind of cuts across the forehead, and then it's like shaved on one side of it. You know what I'm talking about? The super douchey one. I'm gonna do that. You should get the South Dallas fade. Remind me what that is. I'll show you a photo. Okay, we'll talk. Okay. Saturday, I'm headed to uh, the Houston area, north side, very north suburbs, where we go every summer for my wife. Her uncle has a party, and uh, <laughs> we'll just look at an AJ Ferrari pic. I was kind of, <laughs> I was trying to get some haircut inspo since I'm getting my haircut today. We'll be up there, be a good time, and then we're gonna turn right back around Friday and go to Houston again. How many pencil dives are you doing? Ooh, they have they don't have a diving board, but they do have the the rock waterfall. Oh, that's class. Oh so, yeah. Probably gonna do some pencils. Probably not. I'll probably be like on kid duty, like doing dad stuff. Yeah, just stressing out the entire time exactly. that like no one's watching roads and he's just crawling around. I will have zero fun. Yeah. But I will be vibing. No, it'll be good. And then uh, yeah, we'll be back Monday, probably in the morning. So depending on what time the parade rolls through, I may uh Show up, pop top, have some lawn beers. What about you? You know, your boy's got that Friday tea time, making that long weekend a little bit longer. Probably gonna go low. I got a new, uh, I got a new putter cover that I'm gonna reveal. The boys are gonna go absolutely bonkers for it. Can't wait. Shots to Seamus Golf. Also have a new golf towel. Catch me just wiping my irons on that thing nonstop. Wow. Nonstop. That's, that's exciting. Yeah. I was going to get really excited about the uh, the frozen Uncrustables, uh, but that comfort station might still be under construction. But I'm going to get my favorite taco in town, the brisket taco. A little cilantro on there, a little salsa. You know I'm going to get full as hell on that course. Mm. I might eat, it's, Since it's Friday, I might even have a ranch water or six. You calm down. Catch me Ubering home. My wife's going to yell at me while I sit on the couch. You need to change, Will. <laughs> okay. Dress like shit, Piece Will. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then, yeah, I got a wide open weekend. I'm probably going to Matt's El Rancho. Uh, I'm probably going to go again to Matt's El Rancho at some point during the weekend. And then, uh, yeah, 4th of July. Kind of a dream scenario for the 4th of July for me. You know, it's all about, like, you know, just getting out there and enjoying your freedom. Uh, and for me, uh, my wife is going to be working from uh, 1 to 7 on the 4th of July, which means I'm going to be chilling at home. But I am going to go to Dylan's house to watch the parade. I think you Mark should. my words. I'm going to bring over some Vizzy Hard Seltzer, and we're going to do that. Uh, get, get some mimosas. Okay. Okay. M mimosa Vizzy, I'm saying. Yeah. Toe tops, dude. Oh. Uh, but yeah, I might, I might even do a little... Uh, I, might, I might sneak to the pool. Really? On the 4th of July, if you want to join me. Okay. Good people watching at the, oh, oh, the boat launch. So come holler. If I'm not at Minions Rise of Gru, I will definitely swing by. Dude, the boys are going to be mobbing at Minions Rise of Gru. <laughs> are we the Gru Man group? Yes. Stop. We are. Dude, that's good. That has legs. No, it doesn't. Why? <laughs> it's all right. Do you even like Minions? Dude, they're, they're so funny. Yeah. I'm a big Minion guy. Everybody they're knows cute. that. Can you do an impression of a Minion? Hey. I'm a Minion. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's how they Corn say. Nuts. Corn, Corn nuts. nuts. <laughs> I can't do a minion impression. You try one. I don't. Are they the high pitched little guys? Yeah, but they they, they kind of <laughs> they don't actually say words. They just kind of say make no. sounds that sound like words. No. So they uh, someone told me. I feel like a bomb told me this. Did you tell me a fun fact about the minions? I think so. I think someone told me that they actually record actual words, but then they distort it so it's it's all high pitched really? and weird. So okay. they're act they actually have dialogue, but you don't know what it is. That's funny. I hope that's true. It's probably not. I'm probably, cute just, I pro I'm probably just they're lying. They're cute as fuck. I can't wait to see Guru rise. Yeah. Been waiting for it. Hey, I'm Guru. I'd love to see a Guru boss winning. Corn nuts. I'm Gru, da ba dee da ba die. You could probably end it. Right? Yeah, yeah. We're reaching now. We got some AJ Ferrari content to go look up. I'm about, I'm about to blow up AJ Ferrari's DMs. <laughs> hey, my boy's single. 
Remember we did that for you with JoJo, which mm-hmm. I don't remember at all. Are you sure you did that? Yes. I was walking on 6th Street, and we were on the opposite side of Little Woodrow's, and I remember walking and being like, yeah, she's definitely on 6th Street right now. We're going to hook Dylan up with JoJo Fletcher. This is walking gonna be, this is gonna be on 6th Street. Well, he's doing like the walking in, walking in Memphis. So. Put on my... Rothy shoes. Put on my blue suede Rothy's and I got in my Uber. Put on Dylan's Touch Hirachis. down. Touch down that little wood rose in order to bucket of the beers. Didn't you get Hirachis? I've never gotten so many compliments on shoes in my life. They're there, bone there you go. The no one's wearing bone. Nike Hirachis anymore, dude. Not Those are Nike. chewy as fuck. They're little, little loafers, dog. Dicks out for Hirachis. You don't know anything, man. No offense. Isn't isn't Dylan's movie coming out this weekend? Oh, which one is that? Minions: The Rise of Chug. You are Chugy, motherfucker. We gotta go. All right, bye. We gotta go. Say bye then. Bye.